In a recent tutorial, I did a little applique on the project that I was working on, and I have had a lot of followers want to know how to use this Wonder Under. And so today I'm going to show you some simple tips and tricks on how to use this fusible webbing that you might find helpful. I'm Jan Howell, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. You may not have even heard about Wonder Under or fusible webbing. It works great for applique, sticking a piece of fabric onto another piece of fabric. Basically what it is, is just a thin webbed piece of glue that has a backing on it. You can wash whatever you put it on and it will stay on. There are a couple different brands and types of fusible webbing. You can buy this at the store by the yard. I really like this Pellon brand. It also comes in Heat and Bond brand, but I, I find this Pellon Wonder Under works really well. You can get it in a lightweight and an ultra hold that works for something that you may be going to be washing all the time. I have cut out a little flower from this fabric that I made pajama bottoms with and put it on this t-shirt. So it's a matching set and I'm going to and cut out this dog and put it on this t-shirt for this matching set of PJs. You can put it on bags, you can put it on whatever you want. You can even use this Wonder Under on wood, paper. You can even make patches with it and use it for hemming. It's washable. I've tested it for other surfaces besides fabric and it adheres really well. You can use this to apply any different shapes, letters, sizes, or whatever you want to cut out. I'm going to show you how to cut out a letter and the shapes are really easy. So if you're just starting out, just cut out a, a simple shape. I have printed out a heart and a star and a few letters. Something to note is when you trace the letter or the shape, it's going to be mirror imaged when you put it on your fabric. This M doesn't matter. I could trace that and if I flipped it, it's not going to change the orientation of it. Same with these shapes, but the letter J is going to be backwards if you do not mirror image. So if I were to just put this over there and trace that, when I put it on the fabric, it would be backwards. Depending how big your letter or shape is, cut out a piece of the Wonder Under. And you can see how this separates away from each other. I'm going to set that fusible sheet aside. I'm gonna hold this up to the window and just trace around that letter. Once you have your letter traced, you can see it's backwards. Then I'll put the paper over the letter and trace it. Grab the fabric that you're going to use and make sure you cut it big enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want you to set your iron on high, turn off the steam so you're using a dry iron, place your fabric right side facing down, take the webbing sheet, place it down on top of the fabric. I'm going to place that J so it's backwards. Now, if you have the star or whatever, it doesn't matter, but this J needs to be backwards and the paper needs to be bigger than the webbing. It's sticking out just a little bit right here. If I were to press this and get that webbing onto my iron, it will gum up and leave residue. And so that when you put on another transfer, like I did this one, it had a little bit of stuff from a previous project and look at those yucky goobers that are on that star. I'm going to show you a really cool trick if you do happen to get that on your iron, which is going to happen someday for you. But I have a really slick trick on how to get that off. So I'm gonna trim that webbing down just a little bit to make sure that that doesn't happen. Place the paper over, make sure you're covering the webbing and then press it and you'll just press it for about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't wanna overdo it because you'll burn the glue. I'm gonna let that cool just a little bit. And all you do is cut around your shape. So the next thing you're going to do is peel off the paper. Now I used to sit there and try to get that edge. It's pretty tricky to get that to separate from the fabric. So I've learned a trick. Just take a simple pin and make a little X in the middle of your shape somewhere. It kind of scores it, it'll pop out, and it gives you something to grab and pull, which is a heck of a lot easier than sitting there on the edge. And I don't know 
if you have that same deal but if you have experienced that before it can be so frustrating trying to get that to peel off so that's pretty slick you can feel a little kind of like a rubbery plasticky texture on the back of your shape and so all you do is take whatever you're ironing it to decide where you want to put it and press it again it's so cute you can do so many fun things with it I put some stars on here if I were to use this dog and want to cut him out you don't want to do anything that's too intricate apply a piece of webbing and then cut him out and then I could put him on this t-shirt that will match these pajama bottoms and by the way I do have a tutorial showing you how to make these PJ pants and I do have a tutorial showing you how to make these bags if you have an item that you've applicated something onto and it's going to be washed a lot you may want to do some satin stitching which is basically a very short in length zigzag stitch around that item like I have on this t-shirt I have sewn that satin stitch around the edge so it doesn't come off I've set my sewing machine to a zigzag stitch the width at 4 and the length at 0.5 to 0.7 just kind of see what looks good you want to have the zig the outside of the zigzag stitch be right on the edge of the applique take your hand wheel and turn it towards you so it will bring the needle down so that you can see so that looks about right and you may want to play with this a little bit try some on some scrap fabric in case you've never done this before or even if you have just to see how that's going to look when I get to the corner you want to bring the needle on the outer edge leave the needle down lift up your presser foot and pivot so there you have that applique it's not going to go anywhere you can wash it as much as you want and that's not going to come undone so I hope you found that helpful make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click on that bell in your notifications so you can be notified when I put new sewing DIY projects and recipes. If you want to see what else I'm up to, go to my website, youmakeitsimple.com for some other tidbits and projects that you might find interesting. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun crafting and we'll see you next time.